Ely. My next guest has been a writer for the National Lampoon Saturday Night Live and won an Emmy for SCTV. He is now the founder and editor of a new humor magazine entitled The American Bystander. Please welcome a man who has been called the Clark Kent of comedy, Mr. Brian McConaughey. <laughs> for being here uh been called the clark kent of comedy i have that love and enigma yes uh why explain that um dave thomas called me that um it's uh you don't know what to expect from clark that's true that's uh and that's that's nothing else that we should we move on yes all right let's move on uh it's a lovely evening I think. yeah it is it's a nice night now this is a <laughs> this is an impressive uh piece of work here and uh, uh, is it, uh, will it soon be on the stands? First of all, tell us what it is, I guess. It is, is a humor magazine for grown-ups. Mm -hmm. Grown-ups and tall children. Big kids, big yeah. triple E size, 44 longs. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a publication for, um, essentially, it's a gathering of talent. Um, working in all forms of the media. Um, comic, color comics, short stories, panel cartoons, essays, photo spreads. It's, um, it's a showcase for talent. A funny, funny telling, publication for... Telling okay. good stories. And, yeah. uh, and how soon are we to having this on our uh, neighborhood uh, newsstands? We're hoping for the fall. Oh, that would be very nice. Now, tell folks what some of the features would be in here, a little uh, specifically, if you can, Brian. Um, it's, uh, there are pieces in there that are perceptions that are in the common um, consciousness. There's a, there's a piece in there about um, dictionary art review. That's, uh, it's those little dictionaries, th those little illustrations in dictionaries that you see all the time. And it just gathered them all together. And mm -hmm. you look at them all at once. They, uh, there's a, somehow dictionaries have a pension for uh, medieval armor, Roman armor. Uh -huh. They're just, it's, um, so they, there's, um, it's, it's gathering a number of, it's hard to explain. <laughs> Well, I, um, I know what you're talking about. I've seen the, uh, the dictionary art. It's like uh, you take Funk and Wagnalls and you compare their wombats or you yes, compare their, exactly. uh, their poodles or their uh, yeah. crescent wrenches or whatever, yeah. Uh, There's a piece in there that um, Don Novello did called uh, Bridges and Grooms. That's, uh, uh, and it's, a picture of, it's pictures of men on their wedding day uh -huh. posing by a bridge, as it is the, probably the scariest day in a man's life on his wedding day. Uh, now, it, it, is, it co is it coincidence that these guys posed by bridges, or... Uh, no, we put them there. You put them there. We I had see. to drag them away and put them there. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the, the uh, Charles Kuralt uh, idea for the magazine. A number of up-and-coming things, yeah. The, um, we're going to find out, uh, check in the papers one day that Charles Kuralt's on the road and break into his house. Mm -hmm. Go through his... Um, <laughs> go through his icebox his record collection, his medicine cabinet, and you kind of wax poetic about all the fine things yeah. he must have in there. Uh, other other uh, um, future ideas for the magazine? My Dinner with Andre the Giant. My Dinner with Andre the Giant. It's um, <laughs> speaking about uh, existentialism and, and crepe Suzettes and Ken the Body Ventura. <laughs> uh, now, um, tell me about writing on SCTV. What was that uh, like? That was real nice. They were just a lovely bunch of people. That um, the first day I walked in there, um, Dave and Rick, I worked in a piece with them. Dave uh, Thomas and uh, Rick Moranis. Yes, sir. And um, they, uh, uh, Rick had, a, had, a, had this idea of Miracle on Mean Streets, just, you know, combining some nice elements. And it was the kind of the Frank Capra feel of the 30s with uh, Martin Scorsese's uh, uh, Mean Streets. So we had a, uh, the um, De Niro character who just, he's eating and eating and eating and putting on weight to become a fatter Santa Claus. And um, there's a Jimmy Stewart character who's trying to seek Santa Claus to keep raising the prices on him. And it was um, to the reveal of this Santa Claus with the white mohawk hairdo at the end. Never got on, but it was, uh, uh, it was a spirited idea. Uh, uh, what are other things that you've written for shows that, that didn't get on, that you thought uh, were especially worthy? Oh, there was a real nice piece for, uh, for Saturday Night. That um, It was a piece about a, um, an unfortunate accident this girl had. She's a skier. She loses her sight. And she has to work her way back and get her courage back and just be able to, she was going to be a blind skier. And it was, it really was working, it was working towards that piece of footage that, um, that's on the um, uh, ABC World World of Sports, that one poor skier every week that goes down and crashes into those, I had to give that justification, so yeah. it, was, it was a setup for that. Uh, yeah, and it did not, it never showed up anywhere. No, yeah. no. Anything else that uh, uh, um, comes to mind that uh, you would like to have seen aired? Um, I work with a piece with uh, your Mr. Downey uh, called the Edith Wharton story. 
It was a, an, an odd title for, a, for the piece, but it was, a, it was about the curative powers of dance employed during the Civil War, that these, um, that these Southern Bells would sit by the, the, the patients' beds, and, and every so many hours they'd be pulled out of their beds and be forced to dance, the waltzes and whatnot, the, the latest dancing cures from Europe. Um, other pieces that did not get on. The, the rest did get on. Oh, oh well, that's good. That's not a bad percentage, two <laughs> no. out of uh, many hundreds. Yeah. Uh, and you've also appeared in major motion pictures. Um, my best work in Caddyshack, yeah, yeah. On, on, the, on the cutting room floor, unfortunately. Oh, darn. But I'm in, um, um, what's it called, Strange Brew with the McKenzie Brothers again. Uh -huh. the, um, I act with Max Van Cito. Max is great. We just act, the two of us. That's all you just, do is we act? Check the, we check this. The lengths have off. Stand back, we're going to act. He acts at me, I acted him. <laughs> and this, this is their, uh, the Bob and Doug film, right? Yeah. And this is uh, soon to be released, as they say? Uh, yes, yeah, summer. I think summer. Yeah. All right. Good I'm luck. Certain. Uh, uh, good luck with the American bystander. Uh, you say you, you think fall. Yes. I am I'm raising cash for it right now. All right. And uh, I signed up uh, Dr. Ruth <laughs> right in the back. I knew she'd want to be a part of this. She would be. Uh, she is. Thank you very much for being here, Brian. Brian McConaughey, ladies and gentlemen, and the American bystander. We'll be right back to answer some more viewer mail.